Hello guys, welcome back. Bin James Kitty is here for Bin's blog. So today we're going to talk about how we're going to troubleshoot and how we're going to identify the connections of your alternator. We are using here a multimeter to uh, uh, check the resistance of your winding. So we're going to identify the connections and the uh, uh, beginning and end ending of your winding for the connections so we are going to check the resistance of your line one line two line three and the ending of your winding so <clears throat> let's see and the actual set of a generator <laughs> Hello guys, so I'm here in our generator so we can start now uh, try to do uh, the things we are talk about so now I'm going to remove all the links to our uh, alternator so first take a look for the alternator so guys uh, since our connections is uh, in, uh, in uh, series Y connection so you have to do only is uh, remove the neutral link so so in order to test the line 1 line to line 3 for your resistance testing so let's do this so guys I remove only the link for our neutral so you now we can try to test our uh, resistance test so first thing you have to do you have to get your uh, wiring diagram so in order to identify which one you're going to start which is the correct uh, testing and troubleshooting okay so now guys I'm here I'm using the flock tester so we can make it accurately our tests now i will start to find the line one and the end point of the winding So guys, just put your tester into the resistance mode, so we can find <coughs> First thing you have to remove all the wirings for your line
So guys, uh, the end point of the T1 is uh, T7 and the uh, end point of uh, T4 is T10. So we're going to test now how what is the resistance reading. You see it? So if we try to test in the other line, you cannot see any of connections. So T1 and the ending connections is T10 because this one is uh, series connections. This is a uh, series Y connections. So that is correct. We will check also if this one, uh, if there is an uh, ground connections to the body. So we can assure that there is no uh, connection to the body because if there is, uh, meaning this one is faulty. So since nothing, so connect our connection is good. So let's check to the other one. So this is line 2 or this is the T2. So the end point of T2 for the big Y connections is T11. So this is correct. So we will try to body connection to 0. So meaning it is in the good conditions. So let's try again to the line 3. So the end point of line 3 is T12. So T3 the end point is T12. So everything is in good condition. There is no short circuit will happen. So this one is okay. So if you check this one to the other end point, so nothing. So Uh, because since this one is a uh, big Y, so this is in series with uh, T1, T7, T4, and T10. So, and T2, it is in series connections with T8, and T5, and T11. And, uh, Line 3 is T3, T9, T6, and T12. So, that is the correct uh, testing for your resistance in order to know that there is no uh, fault findings with your alternator. So, this one is a good conditions. So, there is no problem with this so in order to identify also for your connections if this one is uh, uh, in uh, Y connections because it's easy to know because this one the T11, T10 and your T12 have the link so meaning this is your neutral so, meaning the rest of your uh, winding it is uh, joined together so now your line line 1 line 2 line 3 is uh, there is no link so you can identify now if this one is delta or this one is double delta or double y connections you can easily identify through your visual inspections. Now I'm more going to uh, return back the connections because everything is fine and uh, everything is in uh, good conditions. So there is no issue with that. 
that is very simple to uh, analyze and to check the resistance of if you have some doubts with your alternator if there is some failure so since everything is okay so I will go to the connections I will return it now so we can put it back By the way, this uh, T7 and uh, T4, T8 and T5, T9 and T6, this is what we call the middle connection. If you want also to check the end point of your line for the middle connections, just remove, simply remove this bolt and check using your multi-tester. That is very simple. On So guys, you see it already how to test through multi-admitter, through also uh, resistance. So now you see how to make the test for the resistance test for your winding and where you are going to connect for the end point and the beginning of your connections. So that is very easy and uh, very simple. So that's it. Just comment below if you have some questions so I can answer. Uh, whatever your doubts and whatever your questions is so I can answer everything as uh, possible so just comment down below to the channel so okay